Well, if you've ever been driving down the road and seen some of the roadside oddities, yeah. there is a museum here in Hillsboro, Texas, where uh, a guy who has, has collected a bunch of these roadside oddities and little items that you find along the road. Yeah. And he's consolidated them into one spot. Yes. Yeah. It's a very it's cool, fascinating. interesting place. Stuff I haven't seen in decades. Yeah, so we're going to go through here. We'll take you with us. And if you have, have seen any of this stuff, or if it brings back any memories, memories for you, for sure. leave us a comment. Let yeah. us know what it is that struck your attention. Mm -hmm. And uh, let us know a little bit of your memories about you know where it takes you back to, or a time or a place yeah. that you've been to or visited. Absolutely. Um, so let's go inside and see all the cool okay. stuff. museum's awesome it is. it's huge so cool. it's like the best museum <laughs> there's lots of good museums but this is by far the best never find a better museum than this one it's trump approved <laughs> Today we're at the Dr. Pepper Museum in Waco, Texas. Yep. You like Dr. Pepper? No. I don't like Dr. Pepper. I think it tastes nasty. So why did we come here? Because <laughs> you like Dr. Pepper. I do. So what is it about Dr. Pepper that just puts you off? It's got a funny taste. It ain't right. That's what makes it good, the funny taste. No, that's <laughs> that's not good. Like funny haha? -ha? No. <laughs> like like funny. Yeah. Like, yeah. 
All right, yeah. so compared to like when we go to like the distillery and you drink rum and gin, where is Dr. Pepper rank on on the scale? Like, would you rather drink rum? No. <laughs> No, I'd rather not. <laughs> so it's got that going for it because uh, I'll, I'll pick Dr. Pepper. See, I, I like to put rum in my Dr. Like Pepper. I, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I don't. <laughs> Are you what's gonna... interesting is if they're still doing it on the website, it says you get a free Dr. Pepper with your tour. Yeah. And I'm going to have to politely decline it. You're not even going to taste it? No, I've had it. When's People, the last time you tasted Dr. Pepper? That one Wendy's, we went through the drive through and they gave us, instead of Diet Coke, they gave us Diet Dr. No. Pepper. They gave us vanilla Diet Coke. No, no, we've had the Dr. Pepper, and I was like, oh my God, get back in there and get, <laughs> that's disgusting. Make them give me my right drink. <laughs> Who drinks that, honestly? Yeah. <laughs> we'll take you with us. If you like Dr. Pepper, let us know in the comments below, but uh, we're going to go in here and... Even if you don't like Dr. Pepper, it's probably still pretty cool. Yeah, I want to learn about the whole process and stuff, but I just don't want to drink it. Maybe you can ask him, like, what's the funny taste? What's the? I might ask, what's the ingredient that makes it taste funny? I'm not going to tell you the ingredients <laughs> of Dr. Pepper. It's like a secret and stuff. No. <laughs> secret syrup. Excuse me, what's your secret ingredient? <laughs> oh, well, since you're the wags, we'll definitely tell you. Yeah, why not? <laughs> what's wrong with that? I just went through the museum portion, which is really cool. Yes. Talks about all the history of Dr. Pepper, formulas, and, mm -hmm. and then it showed a bunch of the, the older type of uh, soft drinks that really don't exist Let's anymore. Yeah. Uh, we'll throw up some of those and let us know if you remember some of those or if you've tried some of those. There were quite a few that I did not recall. Mo yeah, most of them I did, but there was a couple that I was like, like 7-Up Gold. I don't remember 7-Up Gold. Um, what was there like? Uh, Pepsi Blue. I don't remember. Yeah. That was 88. I don't remember that. Hot Dr. Pepper. Hot Dr. Pepper. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know. Are you like cold Dr. Pepper? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, we were not able to vlog in there, but um, because you have to wear a mask yeah. everywhere you go. Um, it, but the other cool part, it, it did talk about the um, the beginning of Pepsi. Yeah. And we got to visit where the birthplace, birthplace of Pepsi in yeah. New Bern, North Carolina. When we went through there, we'll put a link up here if you want to go watch that. Um, but that kind of led to everybody else um, messing with um, formulas and flavors, flavors and that kind of led to the Dr. Pepper invention. Yeah. So we're going to go into the gift shop, we'll see what's in there. And the soda fountain shop. Yeah, and then the soda fountain shop where I'm going to taste Dr. Pepper. And you're not. I'll watch you taste Dr. Pepper. You want to taste it? <laughs> I doubt it's gonna sway. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get it, cause I gotta. We gotta do like the side by side, the 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 um, reaction to the rum versus the reaction to the Dr Pepper. <laughs> oh, lucky me! So excited. <laughs> Just for you, Leslie will try some Dr Pepper. Mm. My pucker face is already <laughs> warming up. <laughs> okay, Leslie chickened out. We wow. got seven up. Well. I knew you were gonna get a Dr. Pepper. I did. So I figured I'm, I'm gonna taste yours. I'm gonna not like it. And, 
<laughs> and then I'm gonna chase it with a seven up. I like prejudging the Dr. Um, Pepper. No. Prior experiences have told me you just don't like it, so. Alright, she's gonna take one for the team. Here's the Dr. Pepper. You have to actually taste it. Don't just pull up the straw and pretend either. <laughs> I would not do that. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. Don't smell it. Just, just do it. Just do it. <laughs> I already know I'm not gonna like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's chugging the whole seven up just to chase the one little sip of Dr. Pepper. She gargled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I still don't like it. You dumb. Though I will, I will give them credit for one thing. What? The diet Dr. Pepper is better than the regular Dr. Pepper. That's just because you're used to not having syrupy drinks. Yeah, I got drink Diet Cokes and stuff and Diet Sprites and stuff. And so, kudos, your diet's better than your regular, but I'm gonna stick with my stuff. And I am gonna drink my Dr. <laughs> drink away. <laughs> so good. So not good. <laughs> Today we're at the uh, Chisholm Trail Museum. Yes. In Cleburne or Cleburne? I don't know how to say it. Tomato, tomato. Cleburne, Texas. What do you know about the Chisholm Trail? I know it went to Kansas. It did go to Kansas. It was um, it was actually um, designed by a dude named Chisholm. A dude. A dude, a dude. named Chisholm. Just some dude. And it was it was to move uh, cattle from Texas to Kansas. Yeah. And uh, started down by San Antonio, all the way up to Abilene, Abilene Kansas. Yeah. Uh, that's so they could load them on the rail cars mm -hmm. and ship cattle all over the United States. Yeah. So um, I think that there's going to be some very cool history out here. Yeah. It from from the brochure when we when we paid lots of stuff here, old schoolhouse, cemetery, blacksmith, bunch of stuff. Yeah, the old um, mail wagon. Yeah, coaches. Yeah. Wells Lots Fargo. Of cool stuff. Yeah, um, the I mean, blacksmith. You're in Texas, it's Western stuff. Yeah, and the blacksmith is actually. Um, I think that's like his his job. He's a job. He that he's, he's been a blacksmith for decades, I guess. Yeah, so very cool. Yeah. Uh, it's very um, um, authentic. Yes. Feeling out here. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Take so all the, back to the, the buildings are rustic yeah. and the the blacksmith everything's hand forged and animal barns and stuff whatever yeah and in like. the little museum they have they have actual that uh, that part of the museum is uh native american yeah. uh big bear yeah. era stuff so. they actually have items from those people yeah which is crazy yes they have kwana parker's moccasins in there yeah that's crazy. It is so cool. And it does talk about Geronimo a little bit in there, which is yes, cool because we've, we've been, been there. to Geronimo's grave. Yeah. And where he Tying was in, in prison there uh, toward the end of his life. Yeah. And um, so, yeah, great interesting to see what else is out here. Yeah, it's cool. We'll take you with us. We have it to ourselves, which I like. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go explore. Okay. Leslie's in the general store and she's probably buying stuff that we don't need or don't have room for in the RV. Candles and trinkets and crap. Anyway, I wanted to tell you about this courthouse behind me. The courthouse behind me is the Johnson County Courthouse, the original Johnson County Courthouse. 
uh, one of the oldest courthouses in the state of Texas that's still standing. Might be the oldest. I didn't catch all the facts, but uh, either way, very cool. Um, they actually still do proceedings in here just to keep its status as a courthouse, which is very cool. So every once in a while, a judge will come out here and hear a case and try a case. And then um, a lot of the, uh, the old books and stuff are in there from uh, the old court cases and a uh, copy of the Texas uh, Declaration of Independence in there. Just old cool stuff that uh, just um, takes you back to old school Texas. Very cool place. What did you think about the old Chisholm Trail Museum? Very cool. Lots Very of cool, cool stuff out here, yeah. man, with the uh, with the old courthouse and the mm -hmm. little museum down there and the general store, the little schoolhouse. They have people in these buildings to tell you about it, which is cool because yeah. it makes it more interactive and and they're dressed fun to in learn. authentic. Yeah, cool. yeah, that's yeah. cool too. And then behind us, we got back here. We got the uh, Texas Rangers mm -hmm. Museum. Yeah. Well, not the well Texas Ranger Museum. They have a little Waco has the real yeah, Texas Ranger, but they have a little. Texas Ranger yeah. portion of the museum. Yeah. And then on the other side is the, um, what's the other side? Civil War. Civil War. Yeah. So um, very cool out here, very man. Cool. And then they got the little, um, they have like a little pavilion, you know, rec area in there where they do classes and stuff. And um, well, what's really cool is that you can rent this place for events weddings? and weddings, and you can actually stay the night, honeymoon night. Yeah. In, in here yeah. they have a honeymoon suite upstairs so that's cool. pretty cool yeah and then um you know everybody out here is just so friendly very friendly very just uh go out of their way to give you information and talk to you and they show you around Texas history you can yeah. tell all yeah. volunteers out here on the weekend yeah. that are that are dressed up in these authentic clothing and and showing you around mm -hmm. so i mean they wouldn't volunteer if they didn't have a passion for it exactly. so obviously they're having a good time out here over there in the pavilion, they have a couple of uh, little wagons that belong mm. to Roy Rogers' daughter. Yeah, that she used to play with. Cool. They got hung up now, which is that's a really cool little piece of history. <laughs> yeah. the, uh, I, what was the most interesting thing for you? You think? Oh gosh. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I think all the um, Texas Ranger stuff. I was, was about to say very... maybe the Ranger stuff because we didn't get to hit that museum in Waco, so this yeah. kind of helped out. I we think really we would have loved that. that. Yeah. But. Um, what? We'll save it for next time. That's right. We'll be back to this to area, back. and uh, we'll go hit the Texas Rangers Museum next time. Yeah. But even just a little bit they have here very was cool. awesome. And the guy uh, was very knowledgeable. He was the chaplain, chaplain. for the local uh, law enforcement okay. out here. Yeah. And he was telling us about, you know, um, all the, the older Texas Rangers. Yeah, and, the uh, true yeah. law. Some of these stories are just insane. Yeah. <laughs> but um, we can't really, um, you know, we can't really you know show you the feeling yeah out here so yeah, you just have to come cool. see it for yeah, yourself check it out. Yeah. cleburne texas yes who knew it's pretty close out to the um lake whitney thousand trails yeah it was not far about a 45 minute drive yeah so if you're out here it's worth the drive to come Absolutely. up here uh how much does it cost to get in well we're military so we got three dollars but hey. but typically it's it's four dollars so i mean you can't beat all this for four dollars <laughs> yeah. anyway four dollars a pop yeah and then you get to see them do the blacksmith stuff and they have they had the little um we missed it but they were doing candles yeah, making yeah, we, and yeah we got um, there late, and i but... was right when i was talking about uh the courthouse and i was i was talking about leslie in the general store buying stuff what'd you buy <laughs> i bought a sugar scrub <laughs> sugar scrub rosemary and mint 
and it smells fabulous. It's not for you though. No, well, no, it's it's for Lauren, but she was hoping I wouldn't say that on camera because now she has to give it to her. <laughs> well, if she don't. She go off and make me mad. I'm keeping it, but she uh, won't watch this anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but I intend to send this to her. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think that's it for this whole area. We had a really great time out here with all yeah. the cool stuff, and we hope you had a good time hanging out with us. We we came with new friends. Yeah, Hedish World. Yeah. Um, we'll put a picture up with them, and we'll leave a uh, link in the description below. We also got to hang out with um, Dane's Great Adventure, Adventure. Shelly and Greg. Yep. And Mel and Nettie from Mel and Nettie Living Free Zip Codeless. We'll drop some links to their channels Absolutely. down there too. And we'll throw up a picture of them so you know who we're talking about. Wait, if you don't already know them. A great trip for us. Yeah, um, didn't get to show a lot of people in the videos, but we were hanging out with them, so you probably see yes. them in the background and stuff. And yes. uh, and like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're gonna honor a fallen hero. Mm -hmm. We appreciate you so much for watching. If you want to see how all the ways that you can help us help veterans out on the road, everything you need to know is down in the description yes. of this video. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye.